And that wholesomeness of the food starts with how you treat the animals. And that's yep. why when you look at the ethics of the Prasa Sam in terms of how you so, treat yeah. animals, it's a different ethic. Like, you know, I, I would even say, I'm not saying it's haram, but I would say the way even animals are transported and the way they're slaughtered yeah. in today's society is blameworthy. And it's always going to impact the quality of the meat and the food that we have. And then we're going to be injecting that. Because if you think about the concept of halal meat, it's actually very profound because animals are Muslim, right? Yeah. And really the kind of concept of halal meat is that a, a Muslim, an animal, is sacrificing itself for another Muslim in order for the human Muslim to basically be strong and healthy, to be able to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's, you know, the framing of that is quite interesting. So if you frame it that way, then you're going to take more time to think about, well, how did the Prophet ﷺ actually treat animals? How did the Prophet ﷺ slaughter animals? How did the Prophet ﷺ engage with animals? How did the Prophet ﷺ see animals as part of, you know, our biosphere, as part mm -hmm. of our environment? So all of these things are very important because they add up to the quality of the meat, the quality of what we ingest.